video students how to find out this previous year meet question which is asked let us discuss here now he has given the phase difference he has given the phase difference as a 60 and he's asking us to find out what is a path difference how are we going to find out i'll tell you shortcut first and i'll tell you the reason behind the shortcut also now let me discuss here if you consider this as 60 degrees in terms of radius if you want to write it is going to be pi by 3 because 180 pi means 180 180 by 3 is 60 then how much should be lambda that is path difference in terms of lambda so here if uh, phase difference is pi by 3 you can write uh, lambda by 3 and uh, divide it by 2 that is going to be your answer that is d is going to be your answer lambda by 6 if uh, phase difference is pi by 3 then path difference will become half of lambda by 3 that is going to be answered directly and let me discuss what is the reason behind that also now you should know one thing that angular velocity is directly proportional to linear velocity angular velocity is equal to k times of linear velocity whenever you remove the proportionality you will get a constant k here then what is omega omega is nothing but angular angular displacement by time and k is nothing but 2 pi by capital i mean 2 pi by lambda 2 pi by lambda velocity is nothing but displacement by time here so time time gets cancelled what are you going to get now change in path is equal to 2 pi by lambda times of change in phase this is the relation you are getting now so what are you going to do now let us discuss here he has given the phase difference and asking us to find out the path difference now you can write the phase the path difference is equal to lambda by 2 pi times of path difference that is lambda by 2 pi uh, delta phi is given as pi by 3 you can just write pi by 3 here so pi pi gets cancelled your answer is lambda by 6 this is a conceptual method of getting the answer the previous is the shortcut here hope you have enjoyed thank you very much